What's up guys? My name is Caleb Van Ocker, director and editor of Rocket On Productions, and welcome to a very, very special Blast Off Games video. So recently, um, I was doing a poll on my social media page, Instagram. It was um, for, for all those amazing Rocketeers out there who have subscribed down below and rang the bell icon and people to be able to pick between two videos an ASMR 2 video or a special special very special dual episode blast off games video and what do you know people actually picked the blast off games dual episode special so I will be playing the PC Mac game first that game will be Robocraft um, it's a free to play game on Steam and I will be playing um, a console game on the PS3. The console game will be Need for Speed V1. Okay, so a little bit more about Robocraft. Robocraft is a really cool game where you can build, create, and then fight in a single player or a multiplayer game. And you need to, of course, build your robot. It could be a flying vehicle, it could be a hover vehicle, it could be a vehicle on skis, it can be something that crawls on legs, I cannot wait for you guys to watch it, and so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so um, the thing, thing about this game is that there are so many possibilities that you can do with it. You can create so many cool robots um, that have different purposes. So um, this robot that you see here, I named the Wasp. Uh, V or the Wasp 5 in Roman numerals. Um, this thing is really cool because its main purpose is to heal. Um, if we take a look at Ops Room, uh, there is a tech tree of, full of different capabilities, full of different uh, blocks, full of different mobility things uh, like wheels, tires, uh, crawly legs um dude this game has so many different parts to it um to simplify it for you though we'll uh do talk about this game in stages so first stage is the home so here you can see your different um different bots this is the Diva Minion, uh, referencing a different game. This is the tank of my robots. This is the support, the Wasp. Um, Operation Die Die is has some of the higher quality weapons. It really, the main idea for this one was to focus on weapons that will protect it, that will do deal a load of damage, that will do damage at range. Um, and this is a starter copter. Now we move on to the next part, the community that there is in this game. Okay, so you can upload robots that you want to, uh, because I cannot upload this one because I got it from a community. I clicked on new robot, uh, and then I was able to click on download robots and people have created tons of different, um, robots of their creation that they are willing to put out there for other people to check out. That is really how the, the vehicle bay works. That's what this is called, the vehicle bay. And now we will move on to the second stage of this game, the ability to edit. But first I'm going to upgrade this so I can add to my, the Wasp V. Um, so I just upgraded the Wasp, right? So now I can add more parts to it. Uh, that is what the CPU is, by the way. Um, the CPU is, it's the capacity, okay? We've moved on to the second stage, which is the editor. There are two tools. There are, there's the coloring tool. If you hold down, left click, um, you will individually spray something and color it. Or if you hold right click, you can, um, 
make your whole vehicle whatever color you wish. And it's not instant. It allows you to take some time to decide, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to color it? Um, <laughs> I do not. I'm going to press Command Z and undo the things that I did before, which was coloring a few blocks white. Okay, and now, uh, the other tool is the building tool. Um, we're just going to do this off to the side. Uh, left click is to place blocks. Everything is, all those controls are changeable in the controls menu as you would expect from a standard game like this. So now let me show you the menus so you can see how to select um, weapon types, different tools, I believe it's E, yes. Five, so we have five main categories. You have building blocks, you have movement, tires, um, propellers, treads, skis. Um, we have weapons, so many different weapons, all accessible from the ops room. We have specials, these are specials. So my current specials that I have are shields, which is essential essential if you want to survive for one second in this game you want to have as much mass as possible and if you're going for something smaller um if you are especially like what i am i do not have very many weapon weapons on me on the wasp v um i have only healing weapons um they are called nanos so we're gonna call them that i have mostly tier four nanos okay and then there are com cosmetics, but I do not have any because you have to pay for that. I'm afraid to play God. So <laughs> let's add to the wasp to make it better. Okay, these are hovers. So I would like to get off the ground faster. In fact, that is something that you have to really focus on. Um, so I'm going to put one hover right here, I think under the wing. We're going to mirror it by pressing the M key. So it will be the same on both sides. You see that red line? That is mirroring. So we're going to put another one right here. Oh, okay. So this is good to know. So I have used up as much CPU as I possibly can already. Yeah, already. So that is customization. There's so much to do. There's a lot to think about for me in my head, thinking about how to maximize the potentiality of the wasp, of the process in Robocraft. Okay, so I'm going to press uh, the T key and we're going to go to the testing zone uh, Our objective is to improve our robot. We're trying to improve the wasp We are much faster than my previous tests that I've done I know you do not know what that means because you haven't seen it, but I am much more agile. I can turn around a lot quicker um, and Okay, that's good. So our weapons are good. Okay. Um, our nanos, if we go to three there, we should be able to quickly heal um, everything, everyone, anything that needs to be healed, any of our allies that need to be healed, I should be able to quickly heal them. That is good. So we should be good. Um, we're going to go and head home and we're going to see if we can try to get into a game okay so we are home now and i'm going to rename the wasp because this is pretty much a new version of the wasp it is more agile than ever before when flying hovering is much better my speed has been increased since my last round with the wasp and i'm very happy with it so i'm going to change its name to the wasp the the wasp for some reason wasp is capitalized we're going to continue that 
um, the Wasp Six. Okay, so now we have renamed it to the Wasp Six. It is better than ever, and we're now able to go into a game because we have the right name. We have a new and improved support. Um, and while we wait, I want to tell you a little, a little something. So th we're going into a real game, and I typically like to be the support because there are literally never good supports. I'm not saying that I'm good, because if you have been joining me for many of these blast off games, you know it gets a little bumpy whenever I play a game because I just am not the world's greatest gamer. But that doesn't mean that I can benefit the team by being one of the higher supports because I have higher tier supports, um, support weapons. So now we are in, that is why I like to be supports. Let's go. We can see the weapons here. Who else has supports? No one else is a support on our team. The other team, does not even have the support. We have the upper hand. Let's go. Uh, you can use comms. That's why there is a uh, headphone looking thing. This is a capture the flag match. Um, so capture mining points to feed uh, protonium crystals to your base. Um, so you have to stay on uh, these little pods so you can capture them. Okay, we are on. The game is on. I'm going to switch to my nano. I'm going to make sure I'm able to heal people whenever possible. We are already capture. Oh. Okay, we're not capturing yet, I don't think. Oh, someone else is capturing us. Okay, hold up. I need to heal my team. I'm here to heal the team. I am going... Okay. You do self-heal, which in these capturing games. I'm going to switch to um, damage. I have lost some of my weapons, so I'm not shooting very quickly. But I am about to defeat... Eh, eh. I have destroyed another bot. Great. I'm about to destroy the other enemy team. My weapon is down. I am not able to heal my other team because my nano is down. Okay, now I'm able to heal them. It wasn't enough healing. I'm about to be destroyed, so I need to get out. This is the issue with flying. Okay. Can I... Can I... Can I be stabilized, please? Can I stabilize, please? Of course. My other weapon is down that allows me to shoot. So I'm pretty much hopeless here. And I've been destroyed. So that is basically the whole process of that. I'm respawning in a 10 seconds. But the other team, if you look at the top, they are doing better than us by capturing. Are, oh! Capture a point to restore the shield. Not even a chance. We're not even safe in here. Okay, we are about... Oh! Oh, okay, so we're about to explode our base because it's under attack. We're losing the protoniums, I believe that's what they called them. I'm going out to restore it. Let's go. Not even a chance. Not even a chance. I wish my team would come over here. Hey, I tried. I tried. Did you not see me try? You can't say I didn't try. <laughs> I tried to help our team, but we've lost because my team is not getting together. What about we go and try to, uh, you know, capture one of the points? 
You know, that would be cool. Hey team, do you want to get together and do that? Oh, another teammate's doing it. Let's go, teammate. Woohoo. Okay, how long will this last? The more people on them, the better. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Team, let's go. For like a few seconds, come on. Nope. Okay. We tried. Again. We have lost. So badly. Cut ahead to the point where we lose. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, that's great. Okay. That is that. That is that. Okay. Ah, there we go. Battle summary. Okay. So, I'm not in a clan because I have no friends. And um, we do not have premium. But there is a tier bonus of 1,172, battle experience, 5,860, um, and we got 2,000 robots, which is literally nothing, so that's great. So guys, that is Robocraft for you, the PC Mac game that is free on Steam, so if it looked interesting to you guys, um, then it is totally available for you to get for yourself, if you have a Steam account, that is. <laughs> um, so, I really like it. Um, I mostly like it, um, because it's, uh, it's the build, create, and then fight to the death in these amazing different game modes that you have available to yourself all for free. And I love those type of games. If you'd like to see more, potentially it'll be on the next poll on my social media page. So, make sure to check it out, link in the description. And now, we are going to be moving on into our second part of this episode, which is the console grind. We are grinding, absolutely grinding, this amazing game called Need for Speed, the run on PS3. Um, the cool thing is, um, this franchise has been a thing for a long time, the Need for Speed franchise. A little bit about Need for Speed. Um, it's been a, a amazing game franchise by EA um, since 1994, I believe. And it's that was when it was first released and um, shown at a 3DO game event. And then um, that same year, it came out for PC, for the PC DOS. Look up what the PC DOS is. And then... Uh, 1996, it was released for PlayStation, the original PlayStation, and then Sega Saturn. And, um, so that's a little bit of the history of Need for Speed. So, the more you know, now that we've talked about that, let's just jump right into it, and <laughs> let's see my amazing pro gamer skills in this game, even with a steering wheel. It's still <laughs> quite impressive. Okay, so we are finally in the game, guys. We are about to make stuff happen. So, welcome to Need for Speed, the run on PlayStation 3. This um, game is a lot of fun to play, and as I've been saying before, it's much easier if you're able to play with a steering wheel. Um, I have a Logitech uh, steering wheel. Let's press the start button. I have all the controls on my steering wheel here for interacting with the PlayStation. Um, and I have two special paddles here. I'm going to click on the run. Okay, and I'm going to continue the run. So the thing about uh, this game is that it, um, it's not yeah. so much open world as it is um, really focusing on uh, being as fast as you can to get to your destination. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh. Okay, so the cool thing about the steering wheel is that you can feel uh, the different terrain as you're going. There's a lot of um, vibration to it, so it's very tactical as well. You have to watch out for all the cars, make sure to not hit them, and try to have near misses so you can get more nitro boosting. 
Oh gosh. Nice. Okay, we have a uh, orange trail here, meaning that I can take a shortcut. Always want to make sure to take your, those shortcuts. Oh my gosh. I might have to recalibrate the steering wheel. It seems a little off. Okay, here's a great example of a gas station. So the game pauses, so we do not have to worry about taking up too much time. Okay, we're, we're driving this um, Lexus here. Okay, let's go. And we're off. Models in this game are super nice. Now, can we just take a look at something quickly? Okay, look at that time. That's 11.20 when I'm about to enter the gas station. Now we're at 13.69. So, there is clearly an issue. The game didn't pause as I entered the gas station. Ah! The next opponent is so far ahead. What is this? 13.7. I don't even know. Hold on. Ow. That's a rip. Only a few seconds later. This is so much better. I don't think I'm gonna drop me at the gas station this time. What the heck? Like everyone's here. Last time I stopped at the gas Last time I stopped at the gas station, like no. Last time I stopped at the gas station. Oh, my. That's, that's the end of that run. <laughs> Whoops. Last time I stopped at the gas station, um, uh, no one was there. Like when I came out, like I went, got my Lexus, was pretty happy with it. And then I came out and no one was there. This time, everyone was there. Didn't even take the shortcut. Much better. I will remember that. Trial and error, my friends. To my YouTube channel. Let's go. We're going. Okay. We're here. We've learned many things. Don't stop at the gas station because you will be screwed apparently. And don't take shortcuts. Oh my gosh. <sighs> the loading times in this game are one downside. It's really annoying that the game even has to load. Back then it was quite normal, but now we're expecting things just to be super fast. Back in my day, things took a long time to load. <sighs> but now I'm just looking at what we have now. So many, like, fast, snappy things. We expect things to be delivered to our house, like, within three days. Back in my day, it took, like, five. <laughs> Uh, how times have changed. How times have changed. Anyway. <clears throat> Only a few seconds later. Are you We should take that for like any like real world situations. Like whenever you take a corner, make sure to break or you will kind of drift off into the middle of nowhere. Unless you have like a really good vehicle that has a lot of contact to the ground, like a good sports car. Make sure to take it really easy on corners. Okay? Good. How did I know? Oh! Oh! We spun him out! Guys! We spun- Okay. I gave this run a shot. Right? I've tried multiple times. Multiple. I'm going to show you a different run that I have completed and I can guarantee, I can guarantee you, you I can do. do. I might record an attempt that I have actually achieved. That is my plan, at least for now. Let's do the Rockies. 
Oh, I can select cars? That is gnarly. That is so gnarly, dude. Why are Maseratis so slow? What the? I thought Mar Maseratis were actually fast. <gasps> Hit me up with that Lambo. It's challenging. That is a beautiful car. Cutscenes. That is a beautiful car. Oh, I'm first? I better be first in this Lambo. Not the Lambo, no! Yeah, just throw me in, game. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I can actually feel I can feel this. I can feel the drive. Like, I can feel the road really nicely with the steering wheel. It's incredible. So tactical. Yeah, that didn't happen. A drifting fiend! Until you run into everything. Oh, now you can really see it. Oh my gosh. The ground is so icy. Yeah, I'm not sliding around, what the heck. At this speed, I should be, like, losing it. <laughs> you could see that car spinning out because they're on ice. They just lost contra contact to the ground. Oh, I should not have done that. It's still good though. Gotta keep up, gotta keep up. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. That's not, no. How are you still fine? What the heck? I would have died in that situation. He knows that it's crunch time. He knows that it's go time. I know that it's death time. I don't suck at games. No, not at all. So guys, that is all the time that we have for today. I am so happy um, that I was able to play all these amazing games. Um, each one, if you want to get the game for yourself and check them out, maybe check more information out about the game, make sure to head in the description down below. I'll have some amazing links for you guys. Make sure to check out my Instagram page so you can vote and have a wonderful input on the next game that I play. Again, here's my user handle literally for all the social media that you possibly could enjoy. Anyway. That is all for now, guys. My name is Caleb Vandenacher, director and editor of Rocket On Productions. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember to always <laughs> rock it on. Bye. I have to break it to you. I suck at games.